trying to burr multifamily, but what do you do? What do you do if there isn't any multifamilies to burr? Are there other options? Is there something that can make just as much as a burr, if not more, in the Cleveland market? This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. Today, I'm working with my man, JD. JD, what's up, brother? Now, you just recently uh, got a 10-pack. I'm going to be working with you to do 10 personalized videos, set you up on your real estate goals, brother. And here's what you asked me to do, right? You asked me to start on three, okay? You're trying to do some multifamily burrs, right? You like the Section 8 low-income rental stuff, all right? Here is the deal, brother. We do not really have any multifamily burrs available in the Cleveland market right now, right? That's with the inventory, the place we are with the market. Really, none of that out there right now. So what I'm doing for you, dude, I'm going to get you as close as I can to that and then give you a curveball. This is the curveball video, okay? Uh, I have a single-family burr that I think you'll like quite a bit if you're really hell-bent sticking on the burr strategy. That's one option. I'm going to have that to you probably the same day as you get this video, if not within 24 hours. That's one. The second video, okay, I'm going to give you... A multifamily. So the first one, we got the burr, but it's not multifamily burr. The second one, we got the multifamily, right? But it's not a burr. But it's got a little meat on the bone, right? We got two tenants paying much less, okay, than market, right? So it's a little meat on the bone. So since I can't get you a multifamily burr at the moment with where we are in the market, those two, right, you got to pick which one you like, right? Do you want to stick with the burr or do you want to stick multifamily, right? Got you two alternatives. And then I got this one for you. I thought this would be important because as long as I've been working with you, right, You've been telling me you like really nice neighborhoods, right? Like you like to go uh, to the even nicer neighborhoods. You've been talking about Shaker Heights with me. You've been talking about Parma, right? Parma's like a B. Shaker Heights is like an A. And anybody watching this who doesn't know what I mean when I say B or A, check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. It's linked in the show notes below. It's also on holdmice.com, right? You're talking about moving up into these nicer neighborhoods, right? But you told me you think you're priced out. You don't think you could pull off a bird deal in those neighborhoods. And that's true. You probably can't. You definitely can't pull off a bird deal in those neighborhoods. We don't even have bird deals of multifamilies that are available in the lower income neighborhoods, right? But with your available money, you have $125,000 available, bro. Why are you so worried about making your life so difficult? Yeah, you can make money with bird, but you know what? I could also show you how to stretch that 125k. I got something that's going to kick off what I believe to be a roughly 42% return on your investment, okay? It's going to cost under 100k, so you're going to have 25k more than you need to, right? And and brother. Super low risk. I'm going to leapfrog Parma, get you in an A grade neighborhood. An A grade neighborhood equal to or better than shaker heights right and the way the whole thing works to be able to get the numbers to work dude we're going to hit up the new uh business line we've been using here at holton wise and that's the short-term rentals right a lot of times you're focused on the c-grade stuff because they work from an investor perspective on the cash on cash return the higher you get typically you go to the b and the a grade neighborhoods typically that cash on cash return will shrink that's true with long-term rentals but if you go like short-term rentals versus trying to do like a long-term rental or a section 8 rental you could actually increase your roi while reducing your risk if you are in the right location and i got something that i think you're really gonna like bro so between these three videos i think i'm giving you three different ways to go about this when the original property you were trying to target isn't quite there so uh, without further ado, let's get into the full number analysis on this one. Then after you watch this one and those other two, hit me back with your feedback and let me know what direction you want to take your other seven videos. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. 
Welcome back. Let's get into the meat, man. The meat and potatoes, dude. The meat and potatoes, what I really want to do. First thing is first, 5807 Bridge, Cleveland 4 for 102. It's recently been reduced again, right? Started off very high. Recently, they're at 315. Now they're at 299. I'm going to push that even harder for you. I want to try to pick this up at 290. $25,000 less than the price was a week ago, okay? 290 is what I think I can do for you, right? This is a high-end property in the heart of it all, okay? Like, I know there's a lot of out-of-town investors that watch Holton Wise TV, okay? A lot of you guys out there, right? This is like the A-grade neighborhoods where you hear about the resurgence of Cleveland, okay? Right? Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, Edgewater a little bit, downtown, right? Where the big stuff is happening, right? Indians or the Guardians, Cavs, Browns, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right? All that stuff, right? That's all, that's all the big ticket stuff, right? And this property, right? I think this would be great as an Airbnb property because it's right there, right? So, like, when people are coming to Cleveland for a couple of days, right? A lot of you out-of-state investors, right? You guys want to come into Cleveland, right? You want to come into Cleveland to tour all the neighborhoods, right? Well, you don't want to stay in, like, a Section 8 neighborhood, right? This is the kind of neighborhood you would stay, right? So, like, this Airbnb property can probably be something that a lot of out-of-state investors are staying at, right? Right in the heart of it, right in the heart of Gordon Square, okay? And it's super nice. It's super modern, dude. This is almost brand new, right? This is another thing, right? You get in the Cleveland market, you're dealing with 100-year-old properties. They're really starting to crack down on lead-based paint issues. This bad boy, when was this built? Let me find it. This was built in 2005, right? So no lead-based paint issues, right? This was built 16 years ago, right? You come to the Cleveland market, a lot of you guys, what you're dealing with is properties built in like 1905, right? So very, very new property, okay? So, super low risk area, all the new development, all the gentrification, right? It's a townhome, but there is no HOA to worry about. So, we got nobody coming in telling us, like, do, 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 hey, man, you can't do short term rentals. No, this is good. And look at this thing. It's mint, dude. Look at this. You got the loft look, you got all these windows. This is perfect. This is what people want when they come stay in the Cleveland area for a few days, right? It's perfect, fully equipped. We don't got to touch it. There's no reno here, right? So that's going to increase your cash on cash return. We're going to keep that cash on cash return high because most of the money for this investment is coming from the bank. Look at this super nice loft area, okay? This is cool. You're looking down there. You got the industrial-looking fans. This area, right, this property, it's a two-bed, three-bath. But look, dude, check this out, right? This little loft area, for our purposes, like, it's like another bedroom, dude. We're going to probably slap two beds, maybe four if we do bunk beds, right? Because we want to sleep as many guests as we can, right? So for a long-term rental, no, it's not a legal bedroom. For a short-term rental, absolutely. We're slapping beds over here, dude. This is this is what it is, right? The more guests we could sleep with our listing, the more money we make, right? But this this is mint, right? We don't have to touch this, okay? Don't have to do nothing here. Just, you know, furnish it, right? Furnish it, put TVs, but it's legit. The guests got a nice garage right here when they come in, right? Just park their car in the garage, bada bing, bada boom. Man, they're off, they're running, they're hitting the town, okay? Super low risk, right? So, all that's cool, it looks cool, it's nice, the neighborhood's nice, but if it doesn't make us money, who cares, right? I hear you. Let's talk. Now, it's two bed, three bath, but again, we got that loft space too, so we're going to put some more beds in there. We're going to sleep a ton of people, folks, right? So, because of that, if we were able to rent it out every night at the estimated price point, which is 400 pretty conservative estimate, we would be pulling in 12400 a month, okay, or 148 k a year. But, dude, you're crazy if you're thinking you're renting your short-term rental every day of the year, right? It's not happening, okay? So I have your performance estimates here, your fixed and variable expense estimates, right? Cuyahog County, we're running a 38% vacancy on short-term rentals, okay? 62% occupancy, right? So after you factor in all that, the cleaning fees, the property management fees, because my team, Holton Wise, we do it all. We will be the super hosts on all the sites. And it's not just Airbnb, dude. It's VRBO. It's travel. There's a whole bunch of them. We're there hammering it out for you, okay? After everything is all said and done, I believe we should clear 
on average, forty three fifty nine eleven a month for you after everything's all said and done. Now, warm weather months will be better. Cold weather months will have higher vacancy. That's just the nature of the beast, okay? That's just how it works. But with everything, on an average year, I anticipate you pulling in a little bit over 50, right? Now, the total investment, I want to get this for you for 290. They're asking 299. I believe I can get it for you for 290. We don't have to do any rehab. It's a brand new property, right? 15, 16 years old. That's freaking as new as it gets in Cleveland, right? The only thing we got to spend up front is about 25 G's to furnish it, dude. Flat screens, internet, Wi-Fi, couches, beds, more beds, more beds, more beds, more beds, more beds. The more beds, the more butts, the more butts, the more money, the more money, the happier you are, the happier I am. It's all about money. That's what you're here for. If you're not interested in making money, I don't know why you're this far into the video. That would be crazy, right? This is a money show, okay? So, 315 all in. But here's the kicker. Here's the great part. This is real estate. The bank's kicking in almost all of it. 217 and a half, dude. Let's have the bank kick in 217 and a half. All you got to do is cover the down payment, which is 72 and a half. Then after the fact, drop 25 G's to furnish it. Deck this bad boy out. Give our guests a five-star experience. Premium property. Premium location. Premium price. Premium price. Premium ROI. ROI equals money. Again, that's why you're here, right? Which should, all told, Net out to be around a 42% return on your money because, again, the bank is bringing three pieces of the four-piece pie to the project, right? So this, this right here, this is a great alternative to people that are used to just dealing with low-income stuff, Section 8 investments, right? You can do those, but you might as well, you know, take your portfolio, okay, and diversify it a little bit. Get a high-end property such as this, okay, deal with lower risks and overall a much higher return. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education and entertainment.